tired of paying for advertising? What if I told you there was a free tool that would increase engagement on your website and all businesses have access to it, but only 20% use it to its full benefit? Trevor Riggs here, and welcome to the Art of Local Marketing. And on this podcast, we will learn how to navigate the marketing jungle for your local business. Marketing and advertising for your local business is changing, and we need to find creative ways to get the word out about our products and services. We need to develop mad skills and to evolve to survive this ever-changing market in order to stay relevant in the digital age. I can help. This podcast can help. And I'm glad that you found us. Let's get into some numbers before I give away the secret. This is not an exact accounting, but an average of what I was able to find out about this tool. 5% of businesses had active posts in the last seven days using this tool. 13% of businesses have at least one post, but they don't seem to post very often. And 80% never post at all. So can you guess what I'm talking about? Yep, it's Google My Business. And almost every local business that I know of has a website and probably has a listing on Google My Business, but they don't use it. So here, here's a few more numbers if you're not convinced that maybe you should be using Google My Business. Businesses with more than 100 images get 520% more calls than the average business. That's 520%, not 520 calls, 520%. Businesses with more than 100 images get 2,700% more direct requests than the average business, while those with just one post get 75% fewer. That's 2,700%. This isn't paid advertising. This is free. So Google My Business is it's a completely un, just untapped resource. Now, if I still haven't convinced you, this is the last little piece of uh, numbers that I'm going to throw out. Businesses with more than 100 images or posts get 1,000% more website clicks than the average business, while those with just one post get 65% fewer than the average business. So the question that I have is, why aren't you using Google My Business? And I think probably the reason that most small business owners don't use Google My Business is they don't even think about it as a resource. Since so few people use it, they don't have any way of tracking it or judging it to see, you know, if it's something that's valuable at all. So they just don't use it. They just, they know it's there, but they just don't use it. And you know, I also think that a lot of times people just, they don't know exactly what to post on Google My Business. So kind of here's a few ideas. Um, I'm going to think of a business here that, uh, let's just say you were a lawn service, for example, or a coffee shop. Let's use a coffee shop. Coffee shop sounds good. So say you had a daily special. So what I would do is I would go and take a photo of a nice cup of the daily special write up a little bit about it, get on Google My Business, upload that nice photo. And photo quality is very important. So you want to make sure that you use a really a nice high quality image. Post that photo, write a little blurb or just write a little bit of something about it. And the Google My Business posts allow you to put clickable links into the post. So put the special in there the coffee, the picture, and put a link in there to your website or to your local business or what you know whatever that is. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Uh, say you're a lawn service. You just got done cutting somebody's grass and it just looked fabulous. I mean, it, it just, it was a beautiful, looked like a golf course. Quick photo. Hey, I just finished this grass. This is what I can do for you. Quick button to link to your website. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Or if you have a big sale, 
you know, you're going to have a end of the month event. We do that all the time with the business that I'm in. At the end of the month, we'll be pushing really hard to try to get our numbers up or whatever. And that's when I will post two or three times in that week about an event or something like that. And magically, the numbers for the website go up. And that's just, you know, some of the real basic things that you can do with Google My Business. And in future episodes, I'm going to go and I'm going to start breaking it down because there's insights where it'll show you exactly how many people viewed your post, how many people clicked on your post, where they came from. And then there's the whole issue of reviews. And if you don't think posts boost your local business, reviews, and I know everybody knows about reviews. It's no secret about reviews. But if you go and look, just just go to your niche, whatever it is. If you're a hair salon, look at your competitors and look at their reviews. And say they have five reviews. Maybe they have 10 reviews. Maybe they have 15. Who knows? But 90% of businesses don't make getting reviews their number one priority. They don't even really try. So we'll get into that into a whole nother episode because I'm going to show you how you get reviews and how you make sure you get awesome reviews. But that, like I said, that's for that's for another day. So there you have it. Google My Business is the secret weapon of local marketers. And I use it every day. And this is my favorite way of driving free traffic to my website, let alone the benefit of the reviews. So more than likely, you already have a Google My Business account. So start posting, watch the free traffic roll in, make some more money, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. I hope you got a ton of value from it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Art of Local Marketing Show wherever you're watching or listening. And it would mean the world to me if you would rate and review this show on Apple Podcast. And as I grow this podcast, we encourage you to share with your friends. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next podcast.